Hi. I shall show you today how to paint a knot. <laughs> a knot? What's that? Um, well, it's not a, a knot in a piece of string. It's a knot on a tree. Um, it's usually a little area on the on a tree trunk where there used to be a branch, a side branch, and one has cut the branch off. And after a few years, the bark of the tree um, tries to heal the wound and uh, it, it, it makes something which is called a knot. So that is what I'm going to try and show you what, uh, how to paint a knot today. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a sort of fun thing. Um, it's quite serious of course, but it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something which you can paint on your trees. Um, and it's uh, a good technique to learn. It's, uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to do that. While I've still got your attention um, and you are keen to learn a little bit more about watercolour painting and uh, you like the way that I uh, show and, and, and explain things, then um, I can recommend to you to um, invest, <laughs> to buy my ebook, my watercolour ebook, um, a book full of uh, different techniques. Um, uh, you learn the techniques by painting pictures. There are about 22 pictures that, that you paint after my instruction and um, uh, you learn the techniques by, by doing. So that's a good way of doing it. It's an it's a e-book so I cannot show you. It's not a physical book. Um, I, uh, I send it, if, if you buy it, then I send it to you by email and you have it on your computer and you can you can look at the different chapters and, 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 and try and learn from the book. But um, yeah, well the book doesn't cost very much. It's, it costs um, 15 uh, US dollars, about 13 um, euros. Um, and uh, I said, uh, as I said, as soon as I get the money, you pay by PayPal. And as soon as I get paid, um, then I send you the book by email. And, uh, that's it. Uh, um, yeah. So if you're interested, we can also go in and have a look on my web page. The address will come up here in a minute and you can see that and you can actually have a look at some of the chapters. You can sort of see which, uh, which, which topics the, the, the book contains and you can have a look at that. And uh, then you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. It's quite easy to do. Just go up. Go to PayPal, <laughs> PayPal, pay the money and get the book. <laughs> Here I've got a, a, a watercolour painting of a tree trunk. And halfway up the tree trunk you can see there is a, a knot. A knot is an um, area on the tree trunk where a branch has been cut off um, several years previously. And the tree is trying to heal the wound. Uh, I start with... A drawing of a tree trunk and I uh, wet it slightly with water and then I paint a darker color on the side of the tree trunk which I uh, mean should be in uh, in shadow and then I pull the color over to the light side of the tree so I get a round tree. I then take my little uh, rigger brush and get some water into it not too much just a little bit the, the colour on the tree trunk is still wet and you can see what happens when I just touch it with the wet brush. I get a, yeah, a run back. Um, this is an area where the water from my brush is beginning to dissolve the pigment uh, which is already on the paper, which is beginning to dry on the paper. Um, and uh, it gives me this, this funny, this strange little area here which I can use to make my knot, to paint my knot. The whole idea with the knot is that it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit higher than the uh, side of the, of the tree trunk, so it will um, catch light. If the light is coming from the left, as here, um, then it will, uh, then the, the edge of the knot will produce a shadow and this shadow I can show like this if the round if this oval area is the is the knot 
and the light is coming from the left, then the, the knot will throw a, a little shadow on the right of this little circle that I have drawn. The shadow also tells me that this area is raised a little bit. On the inside of the knot will be another shadow because um, it is an, uh, the area is round, it, it is uh, raised a little bit and it is hollow in the middle. So there will be another shadow that will be caused by this light coming from the left and there will be a shadow on the right of the inside of the knot. Now I'm showing it first with a, a pencil because it'll be much easier to explain it afterwards when I get to the, uh, the painting. When I'm ready to paint, I take a little bit of, of color. In this case, it's burnt, uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of ultramarine blue color. I went, wait until the, the run back on my tree trunk is dry. And then I take a little bit of paint into my rigger brush. Now, because this, this painting, this tree, this knot is very small, so I'm using my rigger brush. And I paint, as I did with the shadow on the, on the drawing, a shadow on the right side of the knot with this brown, dark brown color. But this is perhaps a little bit too hard. So I'm going to um, wash the color out of my rigger brush and with a little bit of water, dissolve the right side of the shadow, keeping the shadow on the left, on the inside of the knot sharp, but on the outside of the knot it's going to be dissolved and it's going to um, merge with the color of the tree trunk. I do the same on the inside of the of the knot, uh, just as I did with my pencil uh, shadows, so I'm using watercolor shadows now to show the, the uh, uh, the area which is in shadow. I have a little bit of too much water here so I've got to get a little bit of it dried up and then I can use my brush again to to get a, a dark area in the middle of the knot. Now I've got this area here which I also have to try and paint and you can see I'm using the paint to uh, define the, 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 how, how wide this knot should be. Um, you can see how the run back has actually almost disappeared now that I've put some color on it and, 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 and dissolved it. The important thing with this technique here is that one is able to dissolve shadows or dissolve paint um, in very small areas. I don't have very much room here from the knot to the side of the tree trunk and it is important for me to learn how to very quickly dissolve the uh, dark color around the knot so that it merges with the, the, the color of the tree trunk and some disappears. So this is actually a very good exercise for, for learning how to dissolve paint or dissolve shadows very quickly. Oh, here in the middle I think I need just a little bit more dark colour. The darker the colour I can get up, up, to the, up to the left edge of the knot, the deeper will the knot be. Okay, so that was how to paint a knot on a tree. Or should we say how not to paint a knot on a tree? No, it is, no, it is. It's how to paint a knot on a tree. <laughs> okay, hi.